Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen about types of parsers. Now let us discuss about the topic recursive design parser in compiler design. What is a recursive design parser? It is a top-down method of syntax analysis phase in which a set of recursive procedures is used to process the given input. One procedure is associated with each non-terminal of your grammar. During the analysis of an input string, the sequence of procedure calls will be made which implicitly defines your parse tree for the input. In recursive design parsing, parser may have more than one production to choose from for a single instance of input. This concept is called as backtracking. Let us discuss about backtracking. It means that if one derivation of a production fails, syntax analyzer will restart the process using different rules of the same production. We know that for one production we can have multiple rules. This technique may process the input string more than once to determine the right production which matches the given input string. So now let us discuss the concept of recursive design parser with an example. So we have three productions here. S is having two rules that is RxD and Z, RZD. X is having two rules OA and EA and Z is having one rule AI. Consider the given input string read. So we have to apply these production rules to get this input string read using the recursive design parser. Recursive design parser is a top down parser. Top down parser will start from the root node that is start symbol and matches the input string against production rules to replace them until the match is found for the given input string. Now let us apply the concept for this input string. So we will start with the start symbol. So start symbol is always the head of the production which is lying first in the left hand side. So here S is the starting symbol. So S is given here and the first rule of S is taken that is RxD. So S is expanded with the first rule RxD. Now we can expand this non-terminal that is X in the next step. So this X can be expanded with the first rule of X. That first rule is OA. So we are using OA here but our input string is read but we are getting ROAD road it is not correct it is not matching so if the production does not match we can backtrack and find for another rule so we are backtracking to X again and we are applying the next rule that is EA so now instead of OA we are substituting EA in the place of X so this is the next production. So if we apply this next production, we are getting the exact input string that is R, E, A and D. So thus we have attained the input string through recursive design parser. So from this we can understand that if we are not able to get the right production, we can backtrack and find for the alternate production until we get the matching input string. Thank you.